coralline algae in a bottle. Now, who thought of this, and does it work? Let's find out. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Romeo back with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about coralline algae in a bottle. Now, why would you want coralline algae? Well, a lot of people, a lot of reefers, they use, uh, you know, Marco Rock. I know I do. I've always used Marco Rock. I won't use anything else but Marco Rocks. I mean, it's clean and, you know, it's, it's just, just great. It's great for aquascaping. Um... There's also the KFC base rock, which I find super dense. I mean, you can, that rock is just too dense. So if anybody uses Marco Rock, they know that it's stark white, especially when you put it in the tank for the first time and the lights come on. I mean, the, the rock is just bright. Um, even over time, you know, it, it gets, you know, the algae covers it. Then you get the shade of green. Now your rocks are green. A lot of people say that's coralline algae, but no. When when your rocks are green, with I mean not like with green hair algae, just green. That means they're ready for coralline algae. Coralline algae sticks to, you know, that green rock, but just great. I don't know why. And uh, so a lot of people say, well, just get you know a piece of live rock. Yeah, but look how long it's going to take for that them spores of that coralline algae to come off of that live rock and populate your whole tank. And they say, well, get a piece of, uh, you know, a snail shell or a crab shell with some coralline out. I mean, to each his own, but I'd rather go this route. Um, so I reached out to Arc Reef, which is short for Atlantic Reef Conservation. They originally started with the pink helix coralline algae. This is the original. It contains seven strains of uh, purple coralline algae. Um, so, like I said, this coralline algae in the bottle also contains live nitrifying bacteria. So, you get the coralline algae spores, tons of them, and you get nitrifying bacteria. So, this is great for reefers who start their tanks with that white marker rock or white carob sea rock or any kind of you know, dead rock uh, that you want to turn purple. So they just came out with the pink version. Uh, this contains six strains of the pink and uh, fuchsia colored coralline algae. So there's six strains in this one. The purple one has seven strains of uh, lavender and the deep purple coralline algae. Um, they recommend one bottle per 50 gallons. I wanted you know, I just didn't want all purple rocks. I want the pink color, the purple color. I mean, I wanted diversity. So I got two bottles. It's going into 90 gallons. So, you know, if you want like all purple, get two bottles of purple. If you like all pink, get two bottles of pink. But it's one bottle per 50 gallons. So they send, uh, now this is not scraped off somebody's fish tank and put in a bottle. It's grown in a laboratory. Arc Reef has a laboratory that they grow. Uh, different species of coralline algae and nitrifying bacteria. So not only are you getting coralline algae in this bottle, you're also getting nitrifying bacteria. So it's, like I said, it's great for people who's just starting out with, you know, that that white rock or, uh, you know, you just want to see some, you know, some colors on your rock. So they send instructions. Yes, they are very serious about this. So we're going to go through it. Uh... Since temperatures should be between 78 and 82, coralline grows slower in tanks with temperatures less than 78 degrees. Salinity must be 1.026, remain stable. pH should be 8.1 between 8 to 8.3. If it's lower than 8.0, it will take five additional weeks of growth. Okay. Calcium should be above 440. Ammonia should be zero. If it's not, I'm pretty sure this will help with it considering it's nitrifying bacteria. So, you know, it converts 
to you know ammonia to nitrite. Uh, phosphate should be below 0.25. Nitrate should be below 5 ppm. As far as lighting goes, it says it shouldn't be too high. The duration of photo period should be somewhat close to the natural duration of the sun. Your aquarium should receive full intensity lighting for 10 hours because that's not natural and will bleach out corals and coralline algae. Coralline algae loves actinic and blue spectrum lighting. That's great because a lot of us reefers love the blue lights to make our corals fluoresce. All right, so we got some directions. Now remove your filter sock, turn off your canister filter, turn off your protein skimmer and UV sterilizer, but leave the power heads on for circulation. Okay, that was understandable because the canister filter or filter sock would filter out the spores. Protein skimmer would filter out the spores. And UV sterilizer would kill the nitrifying bacteria, I guess. Okay. Uh, shake bottle vigorously as algae spores will start to adhere to the inner walls of the bottle during shipping. And that I believe because the bottle is plastic. And if you know anything about coralline algae, it loves plastic. The overflow box is usually the first place that gets covered with coralline algae. Then the pumps. Uh, anything plastic, coralline algae loves it. We fill one half to three fourths of the bottle with aquarium water, then repeat steps two and three. Now using the brush inside the bottle to loosen the spores that have attached to the side walls of the bottle. Okay, so they do include this little cute little brush. So I guess you would pour the entire bottle into your tank. Fill it back up with aquarium water, insert the brush, and scrape the inner walls of the bottle, pour it back in, and then do that three times. That way you ensure that all the spores are, you know, scraped off the bottle and into your aquarium. Uh, let me see, where was I at? Wait a minimum of three hours before turning all equipment back on. If you do not wait, if you do have power heads to provide circulation, then leave off the protein skimmer, the UV sterilizer, and the filter so socks overnight. And we're gonna turn your whole system off. All right. How long does it take before my rocks turn purple? Uh, you should see growth within within eight to ten weeks. That's about right. Uh, let me see. I'm just gonna breeze through this. Anything else? Okay, every bottle contains a minimum of seven separate species of coralline. Each species has a different affinity to the lighting condition, and that is how we ensure that no matter what intensity lighting your tank has, there will be a species included that was well suited for your tank. It is not recommended to have an urchin or more than one limpet in the tank. See urchins and limpet. Limpet's primary diet consists of coralline algae. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. On the back, too? Uh, raise your temperature. Coralline algae grows very slowly, but it's 10 times more rapid in tropical waters. So if your tank temperature is below 78 degrees, then increase the temperature to 78 to 81. This will increase the reproductive growth rate by nearly 15%. Well, that shouldn't be a problem because it's hot as hell in Chicago right now. Um, let's see. Anything else? Have patience. Yeah, it's a lot of things that new reefers don't have. Okay. Coraline algae in the bottle is the only product developed in a laboratory that contains actual live algae spores. Okay. Anything else? Uh... Mm, nope, that's just about it. Wow, they're accredited with everybody. The, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Florida Department of Agriculture, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Wow, these people are serious. So, I'm going to dump both of these in my 90-gallon. Um, I've had Marco Rock, and my tank has been cycled for, for like this. I've had this 90 gallon up and running for a year and a half and no core line none and I've scraped some off of friends back wall and nothing I've got a um, margarita covered margarita snail covered with algae I mean core line algae and nothing 
I got the Indo-Pacific Sea Farms algae booster plates and scraped it like hell every day and got nothing but cyano. So I'm going to try this. Like I said, it's coralline algae in a bottle. If it doesn't work, at least I have a lot of nitrifying bacteria. So I'm going to dump both of these in the tank. going to check my calcium. My calcium and magnesium is not up to par. Just going to use some purple up. A lot of people say this is snake oil. I'm so tired of the damn term snake oil. Anything nowadays could be snake oil. I mean, the medication that we take could be snake oil. And, you know, people use Rogaine, things are going to grow their hair, and that's snake oil. And, I mean, anything could be snake oil. That's just a stupid term. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you know not to use it again. I mean, just be real. So, purple up. A lot of people say, well, use Cockwasser. I mean, it's the same damn thing, you know. It contains ionic calcium and 10 micron aragonite. Um, it has iodine in it. I mean, it's something because when I put in a tank, the whole damn tank turns milky white. So I'm going to add some purple up. I usually use this coral up. This is the calcium. This is the alkalinity. But I only use this when I have a lot of LPS, like torches, uh, frog spawn, hammers. Um, or, you know, candy cane, anything with a big calcium base, I usually use coral up. But for this, I'm going to use purple up. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to dump both of these in. Let's see, is there any ingredients on here? Uh, let me see. Unique 2-in-1 formula contains live coralline algae spores and active nitrifying probiotic bacteria. It introduces multiple strains and color variations of coralline algae. These highly epiphytic strains will soon outcompete other nuisance algae and diatoms. Uh, Use when starting a new aquarium and to boost the color and diversity of existing rock. Alright, one bottle is good for 50 gallons. Best used before 8, 18, 20. If I'm not mistaken, once you place your order, the next day is bottled and the same day is shipped out. It doesn't sit on the shelf. It's bottled that day and it's shipped that day. So they give you 14 days after the bottle date, bottled date to use it. Um, let me see if there's any ingredients on here. I know that sounds crazy because you don't eat it, but oh, ingredients: purified seawater, lab cultured coralline algae spores, nitrifying marine bacteria, heterotrophic, autotrophic, and uh, some other kind of trophic. Calcium carbonate, potassium carbonate, ion buffers. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to make this video much longer. It's already 12 minutes. I'm going to add this, and then in a couple of weeks, I'm going to update. I'm going to take some pictures and videos of the rock the way it is now, and uh, going to update you guys. So, off to the races. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing.